but it seems to me that in the history of Western music, there is an implicit tendency toward the Orient. Non-Western music to a Western composer is dangerous. It's dangerous because it's powerful. It's dangerous because it's beautiful. It's dangerous because it has a very, very long, very solid tradition behind it. Three, four. I'm not suggesting that McPhee is, is more subtle or sophisticated than the original Balinese music, but it's certainly completely transformed. It, it acquires overtones and undercurrents and so on, which are not there in the original because of McPhee's background and because of the whole Occidental tradition, which is overlaid on top of this Balinese material. Oh, Bali uh, uh, was, I think, one of the most important factors of his life. I think he found himself in Bali and found with the Balinese music and the Balinese people, he found a, a, an empathy that was uh, really quite extraordinary. Khan himself was just taken out of his mind by the sound of the gamelan. And I've always remembered his explaining this to me as saying, I couldn't imagine what kind of a culture could produce music like that. He said, this was nothing that I had ever been taught to think could be music. And yet these were sounds that seemed always to have been in my own mind. 